I'm so nervous. <laughs> I've never put on this much makeup product ever. And we can ride the book and share that beat of love. I wanna ride. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So by the title of this video, you will see that today we'll be tackling the Mary Phillips underpainting makeup technique. I have seen a lot of the girlies uh, achieve this look or try this look on TikTok and it looked so beautiful. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna hop on the trend and I'm gonna try it myself. Now, today I do have somewhere to go, so I am praying it comes out good because I'm on a tight time schedule, so I don't have time to like try something and then take it off and redo my makeup again. I don't have that time, so this has to work. So I did watch a few, like I said, a few videos on TikTok of Mary Phillips herself and of other um, girls on TikTok try this look and I think I am good. I think I understand the concept of what it is. So first things first, who is Mary Phillips? So Mary Phillips is a celebrity makeup artist who's done makeup for Hailey Bieber or Hailey Bieber. I'm sorry for mispronouncing that. Um, Kylie Jenner, JLo. So she's, you know, up there, up there. Okay. I'm not too sure if she's created this technique or if she's, if she just, if it's just a technique that she just made go viral on TikTok. I'm not too sure exactly, but she did, uh, it did go viral on TikTok after her video, after she posted her video. So don't shoot the messenger. I'm just going by what I saw, okay? That's the first things first. Cause I know there's a lot of controversy of who create techniques and who's not getting the proper recognition and all of these things. So I'm just going by what I saw on my TikTok and I had first saw Mary Phillips with it and then it went viral. So what is her technique? So her technique is the underpainting makeup technique, which is quite simple. And it's just reversing the way you would normally apply makeup. So normally you would put on your foundation, your concealer, your contour, and then you would set those things and do highlight, blush, and all of that stuff. Well, she does it the opposite way where you would put on your concealer, contour, blush, highlighter, all of those things first and then put foundation and set so i've never done this before ever i've always done my makeup the traditional way <laughs> it's good to try new things so i'm actually very excited to try this also with this technique it is said that your makeup will be a um, lot more flawless in the way it's blended out and it's not it's not gonna look so heavy and caked on so that's also very good because I also like a natural beat. I don't like to look like I have like I have a mask on my face, so to speak. I don't like my makeup cakey at all. So this seems like it's something that can work for me. So if you're interested in seeing me achieve this makeup look, keep on watching. All right, so let's get started. So I've already moisturized my face and prepped my skin, but now I'm gonna go in with my primer, Makeup Forever uh, Shine Control Primer. I do have um, oily skin and it's normally in my t-zone area where i experience that and i also sweat a lot <laughs> so i am going i do like to use a mattifying primer as my base and i'm gonna put it in this area here because i also experience i don't know my pores seem larger in this area so I like to put some near so that it doesn't, you know, my makeup looks smooth. So on my forehead as well. We took a trip, now we on your blood, and it's like a ghost town. This also helps with my 
smile line. I smile a lot, so this helps with um, it not being any creasing in that smile line area. So if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my uh, mirror, so just so, you know. So first she went in with her contour stick and she applied that in the areas where you would normally apply your contour. So that's here, here, forehead here, and jawline here, and jawline here. I'm so nervous because I never put on this much contour before. I don't know. Okay. Oh. I'm about to blend it out and we're not supposed to do that yet. So the next step she does is that she takes a concealer and she applies it all in the areas where you would normally apply your concealer. So I, I'm going to be using the LA Pro Girl uh, concealer in the color Fawn. Put it, what is that? Apply it in all the areas where you will put concealer. on my forehead I normally don't do this but for the sake of me following and committing to this technique I'm gonna you know I'm gonna do it put some on my chin as well okay so this is what it's looking like so far I'm still very nervous but oh maybe I think I'm supposed to actually connect it maybe Maybe, I don't know, I'm just... Oh, above my lip too, guys. So now I'm gonna go in. I actually, she used a concealer, no, like a more creamier um, highlighter. I don't have that, I only have powder. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put it on last. Let's see, but I'm not gonna put, normally she would do this next, she will put this right in between here, here, underneath her eyes and stuff, but I'm gonna do it last, I think. At least not right now. But let me start my eyebrows. To fill in my eyebrows, I'm going to take the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil looks like this this side has like a spoolie brush and this side is the pencil so i'm just gonna comb out my brows brush them up to fill in my brows i normally just do the trace method so i will trace the bottom like that and then I'll brush it down and trace the top this is how I've always done my brows ever since I've learned how to do them this was the easiest way I've learned and my brows has always have always has <laughs> And my brows has always come turned out to look good. Disclaimer, guys. I am no makeup artist in no way, shape, or form. I learned how to do my makeup on YouTube like some of the girlies. So I just want to put that out there that I am no makeup artist. Okay. And this is why I'm always, um, I'm always interested in learning new techniques. Okay, so I'm done filling them in. This brow always comes out better than this one, in my opinion. I don't know. This one be my trouble child, okay? But you know what they say, eyebrows are cousins, not twins. So it's fine. So next I'm gonna clean up my brows with this NARS concealer. Um, it is called Amande. Yeah, the shade is Amande. Is their mattifying or their matte concealer. Like I said, because I sweat a lot and I do get oily sometimes when I do wear makeup, 
um i always like to use like a lot of my products are mattifying products because of that reason so i'm just gonna clean up underneath the brow oh by the way <laughs> i forgot to mention i'm using a flat um concealer brush from morphe Okay, so eyebrows are done. I don't like to trace above the brow, like the top. I like to leave it regular and just clean up the bottom. That's just for me. Okay. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna start blending some of this stuff out. It has dried down a lot, which I'm not sure if that is supposed to happen, but here we go. Okay. I don't even know what this is because it has rubbed off at this point, but this is a Real Techniques brush. I believe it's a concealer brush, like a concealer blending brush. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I might have did this wrong. I think I was supposed to. As I was applying things, I was supposed to then blend it out, then do the next thing, then blend it out. Oh my god, guys. I look so scary. I'm so nervous. I look so ashy. But we're gonna commit to it. We're gonna commit. And pray it comes out well. Okay, so now we're gonna blend out the contour. I'm blending it both upward and downward because I want to get rid of that harsh line where you can see where the concealer starts. Yeah, I'm just blurring that out. Now the jawline of a chiseled face. Okay. We love a, a snatched face. That double chin situation, child. Cause that ain't cute. Okay, so it doesn't look as scary anymore, which is a good thing because I was very nervous. So now I'm going to take my blush and let me just open up the package. I'm going to take my um, blush. I'm going to take the NYX Sweet Cheeks um, Soft Cheek Tint Blush in the color Coralicious. Okay, so I'm just going to put a few guys on the cheek and then I'm gonna actually use my finger to blend it out okay now it's starting to look scary again I'm also gonna put a dab here and she did put some on her nose as well. Oh my God. Okay, I just remembered I did forget to... I'm gonna do that and take a more angled brush and use that to blend it out. You give me a really good feeling. Okay, so now we're finally, or the last step I should say, is we're gonna go in with our foundation. We're gonna be using the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. It is in the shade 500C. And then take my foundation brush, which this is another Real Techniques brush, and just kind of like get some on the brush. <laughs> Going with the foundation. Okay, 
okay so this is what um my face looks like after i've blended out the foundation so a couple things my or a few things <laughs> my it doesn't look bad like to be honest it kind of almost looks like i don't really have on any makeup like this looks like a very natural beat um which is good because i did say i like my you know makeup to look natural but i don't know i feel like with the foundation being over it it kind of took away everything else like you can barely see the blush you can barely see where i highlighted and all this stuff and contour you can i mean i guess you can see it a little bit you know like it doesn't look like i did anything it just looks like i put on foundation and that's it so i don't know but because i'm going out tonight and i'm kind of going to like a fancy place i am gonna go in with more just a little bit more um concealer just to brighten up my under eye i am gonna put on some more blush but i'm just gonna put on powdered blush um so yeah let's do that okay so i'm liking how this is coming out already all right perfect so i'm gonna take uh, my bronzer the morphe palette or the morphe brand <laughs> my morphe bronzer and it's in the shade leader Okay, so now I'm going to take my Juvia's Place blush. Um, it's in the shade Bella. It is sold out everywhere. I am so sorry, y'all. But I did see a few people on um, Etsy and not Etsy. I'm Poshmark selling this. I don't know if y'all want to, you know, trust it or whatever, because I don't really like makeup stuff and skincare things. I wouldn't necessarily buy from Poshmark, but if y'all are willing to try it, y'all can. But this is what it looks like. It's like a nice coral color, which is similar to the coral color in this. Okay. So I don't want underneath my eyes to crease up and also around my smile area to crease. So I'm gonna take a setting powder, Morphe as well, um, in the shade Banana Rich. And yeah, so I'm gonna use that. And I'm gonna take a, it's a little, it's a little damp, it's almost dry. Beauty Blender, I'm just gonna dab it in there and just that underneath. Now I don't bake. So that's why I don't mind putting it on when I'm almost done because I don't bake. I almost blend it out till it's like gone. Hey guys, all right. Now I'm gonna take Sephora, um, what is this? Oh, Micro Smooth Bake Face Powder. I don't know. I'm just gonna use this to like blend out everything, if that makes sense. So I could get open. I'm gonna take that my same foundation brush and I'm gonna dab some in there and just use it to dust away any excess powder that's there as well as to just see sleep seamlessly <laughs> blend out everything else, make sure the contour and blush is all cute and blended and there's no line of demarcation. That's what I use this for, to blend out any like line between each product that I put on my face. So it just looks seamless, you know? Okay, I just put a little bit of setting powder right by the nose because I want my nose to look real chiseled. I'm gonna go back in with this bronzer. I'm like all over the place, y'all. I'm gonna go in with this bronzer and the same small angle brush that I used to blend out the con contour. We took a trip, now we on your block. And then, once again, 
go back in with the micro smooth why can't i never get this thing open okay with the same brush and just blend it out Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my highlighter. Um, this is a MAC highlighter in the shade Gold Deposit. I've had this for umpteen amount of years. And as you can see, it is nowhere near done. I love this, um, I love this highlighter. It's so beautiful, especially on, you know, our skin tones, like our girlies that are, you know, melanated. It looks absolutely beautiful. So I love to use this highlighter. Knock off the excess, and I'm just putting that on the So, for eyeshadow. I am not an eyeshadow girly. I have no clue how to do eyeshadow. I can never, I don't know. It's not that I can never learn. I just, I, can, I don't know. I just, it's just never a thing for me. So, I'm gonna try, I do have an eyeshadow palette, so I'm gonna take my Morphe eyeshadow palette. This is the, um, this is the Bronze Mocha 25B palette, and it's just all shades of brown and shimmers. As you can see, I use this a lot because it's, it it's the closest shade to my skin tone, so when I don't wear eyeshadow, but I just want my eyelids to look even, because I think my eyelids, like, look a little darker than my skin I guess I'll just go in with this shadow or this shade but it is done so I'm gonna have to find a different shade to use let's see or maybe I could get the crevice the corners you know and just put that all over the lid great palette especially if you're starting to learn how to do makeup they have so much versatility with their palettes and yeah I just love it then I'm gonna go in with another with a darker shade I'm probably gonna go in for this bottom one right here and do like a little bit of a like to deepen this area I don't even know what that is this area I'm gonna take just a little bit because it's extremely pigmented and put that in the crease area just to define it a little bit and smoke it out. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. Why do I choose to do and experiment things like this when I have somewhere to go? Yikes. Let me take a lighter brown, so like this shade right here. I'm gonna take this shade right here, it's a lighter brown, and I'm gonna put that in that area just so that it doesn't look so dark. Okay, it don't look bad. Okay, so next I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's like a chocolate, it's a chocolatey shimmer look. I love it, it's so beautiful. Um, I'm gonna take this shade and I'm gonna put it in the middle of my eyelid. I'm gonna use my fingers and do it, and just rubbing off my fingers and just dab it. I'm gonna then take a brush, my blending brush, and just blend that out into the, so that it doesn't look crazy. Okay, that's what it looks like. All right, it don't look so bad. It doesn't look bad. I like it. So next I'm gonna just line my eye um, with a dark brown pencil. Um, and I'm just gonna, this is how I line. And start here and just bring it out. I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside. I'm gonna take this brush here. It's like a smaller brush. 
and just all right so guys it's looking good i like it it still looks very natural still looks like very much me um but we just needed to just put a little bit more product just to bring out some of the dimension in our face that i felt like the foundation took away when we put it on top but i'm liking how this is looking so far so now I'm going to take um, my Charlotte Tilbury um, setting spray. I'm going to spray that all over my face. Make sure it lasts because we're going to be out all night. And then I'm going to let that dry down. And then we're going to go in with our lashes. Okay, so now we're going to go in with our lashes. The last step, or at least... The second to last step is, and I'm gonna go in with these lashes here. They just some beauty supply store lashes. La, La Flair is the brand, I think. Um, and so they're short and wispy. That's what they look like. They're not too dramatic, which is how I like them. <laughs> and so now I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna cut them in three or cut them into smaller. I'm gonna cut them into smaller pieces. Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced I kind of don't want to have to do those tonight, to be honest. I hate lashes. They irritate my soul at this point. So, I'm just going to take my mascara, which is the Huda, Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. Yeah, I'm going to take that. It comes with two heads, so one side looks like this side. The bristles is a lot wider. And this is the other side. And this one is, it has a curve to it. And the bristles also are a lot finer or smaller. So for my top lashes, I like to use the wider side, the, the one with the wider side. For my top lashes, Okay, so I am gonna also, I decided this last minute, I'm gonna also line my waterline, I guess, underneath with the same dark brown pencil. I didn't, I was gonna use black, but I didn't want it to be so dark. And so now I'm gonna go in with the smaller mascara one, the curved looking one and do the bottom lashes. So I look a little weird doing this, but. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my um, NK lip liner. It's a beauty, another beauty supply store find. And I'm gonna overline my lips. So now I'm going to take my e.l.f. lip plumping gloss, that is what it looks like, in the shade Mocha Twist. I'm going to put that. So next I'm going to go in with the NYX Butter Gloss, and this is in the shade Fortune Cookie. And I'm going to put that in the middle of my lips. Okay, and then last but not least, the last thing I'm going to take is this e.l.f., um, another e.l.f. lip plumping gloss. This is in the shade Pink Cosmo, and I'm also going to put that in the middle as well. Okay, guys, this is the final look. 
I love it. I do love it. It looks very good. I did that. <laughs> so in terms of the uh, technique that we tried out today, which is the Mary Phillips underpainting technique, I did like it. I would use it more of when I want like a natural beat and I don't want to look like I'm doing too much. I would more so go for that technique um, to achieve those looks only because I felt like once I put the foundation on, a lot of the dimension in my face went away. Like you weren't able to see the concealer, the contour, the blush, you weren't really able to see much of it. And so that gave it more of like a natural everyday look. Whereas for tonight, I did want more of like a glamour, like a soft glam look. And I felt like I had to then reapply all of the things that I put on at first just so you can get the dimension and, 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 and it can actually look like I had makeup on or that I was actually going for a, a look. If that makes sense, I don't know. <laughs> um, all in all, the, the, the technique was quite simple. Like they did mention, it is simple. Um, and it did look flawless. Like my makeup did look flawless. It looked extremely blended out. And so because I had to reapply a lot of the products that I put on before, I had to reapply it again. I felt like I was doing the process twice. Like I said, the technique was pretty um, simple and it did give a flawless look. I am obsessed <laughs> with the final product. I look so gorgeous, if I must say so myself. Okay, so. I'm gonna hurry up and get out of here because I am running late. I appreciate you guys for watching. Please don't get to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, and also put in the comment section, how did you like the look? Would you try this yourself? Let, let us sister know, okay? And if you haven't checked out any of my other videos on my channel, what are you really doing? Okay, let's really talk about it. But um, make sure you check those out, all my other videos as well. I'm gonna... I don't know how to do this, like tag it somewhere <laughs> on this video so that you can um, click and watch those videos as well. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of this look. I love it. I completely love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you, bye.